Hello, I'm Katie and I'm the artist for Personal Artwork and today I'm going to be doing part three of this um, portrait. I've done the eyes and you'll see from part two I did the, the nose and I'm now going to be working on the fur. So I'm just getting my pencils together because um, I'm going to be working with some cold greys today. Um, and I might mix in some some warm greys further on. Um, but you'll notice from the photo that there are quite a lot of um, cold greys in this. So I'm going to be using those cold greys and working up to the blacks. So it's quite a slow process doing the fur. So I am going to be doing this as a time lapse video. Um, I may stop part way through just to explain what I'm doing, but for the majority of this video, it is going to be time lapsed because um, it will take several hours for me to um, to get that finished. Um, if you do have any questions at all, then of course just give me a a comment below, and I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. Um, or you can just pop over to my Facebook page, um, personal artwork, and drop me a message on there if you wish to have a chat about anything that you're currently working on, or if there's any certain videos that you would like to see on my YouTube channel, um, I'm more than happy to um, to help out there. So uh, let's get started on this. Um, when I'm doing fur, I generally start with the eyes. Um, now, sometimes I will work on the fur around the eyes after I've done the eye itself and then I'll work down onto the nose. But for, for the tutorial purposes, I'm just going to show you this step by step. Um, so I'm going to be working on the, the fur around the eyes today um, to start with, and I'll probably get some of the forehead done and some of her cheeks. Um, and then on the next video, I will show you how to do the muzzle, and then I will be working on the ears, and then I will show you how to do the neck fur and how to just finish off the portrait any finer details that you'd like to add at the end, I'll certainly show you that. Um, there will be some fine hairs that just make it look re really realistic at the end. Just those finer details do make a big difference. So as I say, I'm going to be doing this as a time lapse video. I do have another video on my YouTube channel on how to do black fur. And I generally work up from the lightest grey. So I'll uh, on this portrait, there's a lot of light grey here and around her eyes and, of course, the top of her nose that catches the light. Her forehead um, and, and places like that, you'll start with the, the lighter greys and then work into the dark. Of course, there are some areas that are very black, so you've got around the eyes here um, and so on. You'll be able to see from that reference photo um, the difference in, in the different greys. As I'm working, I will change the image to the left just so you can see uh, a zoomed in, zoomed in image of um, the reference photo um, and just to show you what parts I'm working on and how I do it. Um, as much as it's going to be um, time-lapsed, you will be able to see the different colours that I'm using and the technique. Now just remember, when you do apply the black and the finer details at the end, make sure you have a nice sharp pencil um, and that makes a big difference. Generally with a stubbier pencil, um, you'll find that it blends and then you use your finer, finer um, de for the finer details at the end, you will just use your um, very sharp black pencil. So I'm gonna begin now. I'm just going to start working around the eyes and then I'm gonna come down to the bridge of the nose and then round her cheeks. Enjoy the video.
So I've got quite far on with this portrait now. Um, I've been drawing for quite a few hours now, so I'm going to give it up for the day, I think. Um, around the eyes took a little bit longer than I was hoping, uh, just because I made a few amendments to the initial sketch. Um, but I've done around the eyes and the top of the head. Uh, the only bit I didn't manage to get today, get done today was the uh, around the cheeks. Um, so I'm going to work on that tomorrow. Um, I'm starting to lose daylight now, so I'm going to uh, call it a day. Um, I think it's looking okay at the moment. Um, I've picked out quite a lot of the blue um, in her forehead, but she does have quite a lot of brown. If you see around around here, you'll have noticed I've added uh, quite a bit of brown in here. Um, she does have quite a lot of brown in her when she is in the sun, so I needed to uh, to pick that out, and you'll see that on the reference photo just slightly. Um, I think it's brought the eyes out quite well. Uh, I think I might go around under the underneath the eyes again, um, but what I like to do is lay on the colour and get the majority of it done, get all the shapes in there. Um, the main the main parts really was round here that I had to change just because I had a, a, a few lines a, a bit wrong. Um, so it's just given her a little bit more shape to, to her face now. Um, and then once I've got this ear in, it would look a lot better. Um, so once I've got a little bit further on, what I like to do is then revisit these areas and just see where I like to fine tune them. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, leave this video as it is now. Um, it has been sped up quite a lot um, just because this has now taken about seven hours uh, to to do just this. Um, so I've, I've sped it up for you as much as I could um, just so that you can see the main technique that I like to use. Just working through those greys. Um, on the darker areas, obviously start with the darker greys or even the black um, and then really work in the, the black and then just blend it in and then going over it again with your, your sharpened black pencil. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to be doing, like I said, I'm going to be doing round the cheeks tomorrow and maybe get some of the, the muzzle in. Um, and around her nose, there's quite a lot of... Um, fine hairs that I would, would like to show you how I how I do those. Um, so it will be quite exciting to, uh, to see what you think. Please drop us a comment below. If you haven't already subscribed, then click on the subscribe button um, and you will be able to see uh, the other parts that I've already done, part one and two, um, the eyes and the nose, and I will be doing part four tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think. Um, drop over to my Facebook page if you wish. I'm um, personal artwork um, and you can see some of my other work. If you have any specific tutorials that you would like me to show you, um, then I'm more than happy to do that. So uh, just drop me a message and I'll get back to you. Have a lovely day now. Take care. Bye bye.